based on a true story, a family searching for a brighter future packs their bags and moves their family halfway across the world. Unsung Hero his theaters this weekend and joining us now to share more, we've got Joel and Luke Smallbone from For King and Country. Hello, Hello thanks so much for joining us today. You. Hello, hello. Yeah, top of the morning. It, Jacqueline and Jason, did you have to have the name start with J to actually get the yeah. job? Yeah, that's right. I yeah, guess yeah. so. That you means did. I could get the job. You could. You Luke, yes. you're out. Joel, yes. Jacqueline, Joel, Jason. Joel is welcomed, Luke. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> hey, guys, what is this film all about? Tell us about Unsung Hero. Yeah, yeah. So Joel and I originally born in Australia. Hopefully you can still tell uh, it is true. You Americans have jacked up my accent. Thanks for that. Uh, but born in Australia and uh, my dad was a concert promoter. Our dad was a concert promoter back there. And on one particular tour uh, that he brought back to Australia, the tour didn't go very well. And we lost everything that we had as a family, the house, the car, the life savings. And so he's looking for a fresh start for his career, for the family. And he gets a job offer in Nashville, Tennessee. And he thinks it would be a good idea uh, to move his six kids and his wife, who was six months pregnant, uh, to the other side of the world. But we actually end up losing. My dad loses uh, that job. Straight on the other side of the world, no friends, no family. I uh, was sleeping on beds made out of clothes. I weren't always quite sure that where the next meal was going to come from. Didn't have a car. Mm. And I've told that story from stage as for King and Country for a lot of years and had a lot of people say, you guys should write a book. And uh, the truth is, Joel and I were homeschooled, so uh, that just sounded really hard, all right? And so uh, we thought maybe we could make a movie instead. And uh, the heartbeat behind the film is really family. I, I believe in the power of family. I think that family is more important today than it ever has been in the history of the world. But we don't value it quite as we should. And I think that Mother Teresa sums it up best when she says, if you want to change the world, go home and love your family. Oh, mm, I love, I love that. that. Yeah. Thanks, Mother mm. Teresa. Joel, you, you're in the movie. What was that like for you? Well, I actually, uh, Jason, I play our father. I play wow. our dad in the movie. So it was a very expensive uh, therapy session in some ways, <laughs> but a worthy one. You know, uh, we've made a, a decision as musicians to write and get as close to our own heart as possible so it reaches out into someone else's heart. And that's what we tried to do with this movie, was go as close to our own story, our own heart as possible. So this is so much more than just a story about our family. This is a story about the family. This is so much more a story about moms than just our mom. Mm -hmm. this, and this is so much more a story about the American dream and about miracles and about banding together to overcome. And um, we're so proud. There's so many great actors in this. you got John yeah. Locke from Lost. you got uh, or, 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 or Perry O'Quinn. you got... You know, DJ Tanner, you you got uh, you got Lucas Black from uh, the Fast and Furious franchise. Yeah. You got Lionsgate putting it in literally uh, Jason Jacklin at twenty three hundred screens tonight. So wow. you can see it early. Uh, twenty eight hundred screens wow. right. as of tomorrow going into the weekend. And so, man, we couldn't be more thrilled to get this movie out in the world. And we're hoping that, you know, the conversation of mums and miracles and family is the number one conversation in the United States. And this in weekend. Fayetteville, Arkansas. Will right. be right. yeah. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Luke, tell us about your role in this film. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was one of the producers. So really what ended up happening is he got to boss, I, I wanted to boss around. my older brother around. <laughs> all right. And so I got to sit back behind the camera and just judge him continually. It was fantastic. <laughs> Uh, but no, I mean, you know, you know it, the, to, to think that we have gotten to this point, this has been four years in the making. I made a phone call to a friend of mine who's a producer in L.A. and literally pitched in this idea. And he just says, yeah, OK, uh, sounds good, which never happens in life, you know, when you have that one conversation. And so it has been a joy uh, to put families up on the big screen, to be able to have uh, this story that I think that people will start will leave the theater. Fathers saying, hey, I want to be a better father. Mothers saying, I feel seen, I feel heard with all the invisible things that I do that change generations. Yeah. And uh, so obviously we're, we're thrilled for it to be coming. And Jason, I don't want to get shot by the marketing team. So we have to say, if you want to see it in Fayetteville, Arkansas right. tonight or tomorrow, unsunghero.movie. Unsung we planned that. Okay. Nice, yes. nice, nice. You unison. pretty much just did our job for us. So we appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah, and in unison, almost harmonies, just like your band. So. <laughs> there you go. Thank Thanks you both so much. Us. Congratulations on the release of the film. Yeah. Hey, great to see you. Joel's looking for a job next week. So Peace out. Around. Feel crazy, guys. We'll fired. see you in the cinemas. Fired. I love that. I love that. Jason, you know, you and Joel kind of have similar hair. You know what? I'm going for that look right now. I'm trying to grow mine out right here in the front. That's what nice. I'm going for. Nice. People are asking me, what are you doing? It's the Joel Smallbone It's the Joel. Look. I love that. Yeah.